गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात्म ब्रह्म तस्म श्रीगुरव नम तस्म श्रीगुरव नम तस्म श्रीगुरव नम all the challenges miseries expectations guilts desires etc are all due to the wrong position that we have taken in life we think life has come to us and life will be taken away from us we think or live with this notion that we are a product of this world and just like everything in this world an object comes stays and then is dissolves away we have also come we will also stay and one day we will go away this position is wrong maybe meditation is a way studying scriptures is another way contemplation is another way to change this position it's all a mental game when you think you are a product of this world you are at the mercy of the world because the status that you have given to the world is larger than yourself when we study the scriptures we come to realize hey i am not a product of this world the world is a product of me an expression of me i am the master of this world initially it sounds like a bitter pill to swallow but when little bit of due diligence is done and it can be approached from many different angles one of the angles of enquiring into you being the master of this universe rather than a slave of it an example is taken and that is of space space is the subtlest of all elements namely space air fire water earth each in the in the as we go downwards earth is the grossest space is the subtlest the rule about subtlety is the more subtle a thing the more pervasive it is so water is more pervasive and sat it is more subtle than earth therefore it is more pervasive therefore earth is 20 80 90% of water subtler than water is the earth the heat subtler than the heat is the air element and subtler than all of these are the is the space second point the space allows all these four elements and their modifications namely the 
every object in this universe to exist. Third point, even though all these modifications of space itself are existing in different ways, space remains unaffected by what it is allowing to manifest within itself. Space does not get dried up by air, does not get burnt up by fire, does not get wet by water and so on. Space is in and through all these elements because the quality of space is sound and that quality and the space itself is pervading the air, fire, water and earth and every other object. Fourth point, compared to the space, the entire objective universe that is experienced is only minuscule, a mere dot in the total expanse of the space. It doesn't even occupy 0.00001% meaning it's insignificant. Now, these are the different characteristics of looking at space in a new way. Next point, who knows the space? I know the space. So are you because of space or space is because of you? Is space conscious or you are conscious? I am conscious. You are also essentially like that space. Just like space is pervading, pervading in and through everything that it supports within within its womb within itself exactly the same way the consciousness that i am essentially is supporting even the space and therein the entire universe. Just like the waves are modification of the water, existing in water, appearing in water and disappearing in water. Meaning that appearance and disappearance of wave was a mere phenomena. By appearance of the wave, the water become water did not become less and by the wave merging back into the water the waters did not become more exactly the same way the scriptures say you are that in which the entire universe is appearing and because it is appearing it's a phenomena you have not reduced to individuality. And when this universe dissolves, then you will become complete. That is also not true. You have, you are, you will be always complete as the pure consciousness, as the eternal witness of this phenomena that is going on with or without your will.
take this new position. Define yourself in this manner. That I am like space accommodating the whole universe, including the space, untouched by what I accommodate. If this position is taken, then just I, as I look at other bodies, I will look at this body also. Just as I look at all the various stimuli in the world at the sensory level, because they come and go, similarly, I will look at the emotions and thoughts and convictions and ideas and imaginations as merely as thoughts and take it as a phenomena which has appeared, will stay for some time and then dissolve. Not get entangled in the phenomena. Space doesn't get entangled in the entangled in what it is supporting. Without space, other four elements cannot exist. The four other elements and the space cannot exist without the consciousness. So consciousness that I am is even more subtler than space and therefore even more pervasive. That is the true me. That is my correct position. Remembering, remembering this, contemplating on this again and again and again and again till it becomes a default setting within ourselves. This default setting is not at the level of consciousness. We have to program, think about this with such deep, intense feeling and conviction that whatever our senses are getting interacted with, it brings us back to this disposition or even if the phenomena of waking dream and deep sleep is coming and going every day, we do not budge we do not fall from this pristine position we do not get corrupted by the appearance or disappearance of the phenomena called waking dream and deep sleep just as the space doesn't get corrupted by the appearance of air, water, air, fire, water, earth. Remain steady. Steadiness will only come with more conviction. When 100% conviction is there, then alone you will be steady. So do what is required in order for for this disposition, this new definition of yourself, this new definition of I to become the default position.
and having taken this default position, this new definition, don't look for a result. Results are only in cause and effect, which is at the level of mind. This position you are taking, it is in spite of the thoughts which are appearing in the mind. You are the eternal witness. You are the Kevala, that one without a second principle, subtler than the subtlest. In fact, the word subtle also cannot work on it because subtle is also compared to gross. But here, the pure consciousness is all that there is. We can't say ocean is subtler than water, therefore it is pervading all the waves. And water is subtler than ocean, therefore pervading all the oceans. No. At any given moment, wave is also water, ocean is also water, and water is always water. When our attention is outside, then the, question, then the talk of pervasiveness, subtleness comes. When, uh, when we are the substratum, all these comparatives dissolve. Then all that remains is the pure self. To become or to be or to dive back into yourself, the real you, continuous contemplation on the quality of the space, on the disposition of the space and then applying that on the consciousness that you are. Let that be the thought with which you sit in meditation. And then allow yourself to be.